Welcome to Alba University. This film is for international students who just arrived in Denmark. It will give you the most important information you need regarding your arrival in Denmark. And as a new student at Alba University, the first thing you need to do is get your residence paper settled. Depending on your nationality, there are different paths to follow. If you are a national of the Faroe Islands, Finland, Iceland, Norway, or Sweden, you can relax as you are exempt from applying for an EU residence document. If you are from an EU country, including Switzerland, you must submit the OD1 form to Siri. You can find the OD1 form on the new student's website in the Need to Do section. In addition, you will find a list of the required documents and a how-to section on submitting the form. Please note, where to submit the form may vary depending on your campus city. If you are from a non-EU country, you have most likely already received your residence permit letter, but you have not received the actual residence card. To receive the residence card, you must follow the directions in your residence permit letter. Approximately two to three weeks later, you will get your residence card in your letterbox. It is very important to write your full name on the letterbox. During your stay in Denmark, you must always have your residence card with you. You should not leave the country until you have your residence card, as it will be very difficult to re-enter without it. If you have visa-free entry in Denmark and you have not settled your residence permit, you must do so after entering Denmark. You can see how to do this on the Immigration Authority's website at www.newtodenmark.dk. You can get biometrics recorded at Danish local police stations with facilities or at Ceres Citizen Center in Copenhagen. The health insurance card may also be referred to as the yellow card. The CPR number and the health insurance card is required for many different things such as NEM ID, opening a bank account, accessing public library after hours, and more. The health insurance card is required for all free public health care. Read more about free public health care on life in Denmark. When you register as a resident in Denmark, you receive a CPR number up front and the order for a yellow health insurance card is placed. You have the option of choosing which of the GPs you prefer amongst those who accept new patients. You can find one via the website sundhed.dk. See the how-to guide on new students. To get your yellow health insurance card, there are different requirements depending on your nationality group. A requirement for all groups is proof of your Danish address. You can find more information on the website Life in Denmark and on new students. If you are a Nordic national, you may go directly to the Citizens Service Center and register for the health insurance card. If you are a EU national, one of the required documents is the EU residence document. If you are a non-EU national, one of the required documents you must bring is your residence permit letter. If you have not yet settled the residence permit from home, you will have to wait for your residence permit letter before you can register for the CPR number. When you register for the CPR number, you must also register for NEM ID. This is your digital signature, which can be used to access your electronic letters from the public authorities via digital post. You can also use it to access public authorities' self-service options and for private use, such as online banking, insurance companies, and many others. Digital post is your digital letterbox for letters from the public authorities to you. E-Box is your digital letterbox for electronic mail from private companies. Once you have a digital post and e-box, you have the option of accessing both from either one, simply by signing in with NEM ID. If you choose to leave Denmark permanently, you must deregister with the public authorities. You must use your NEM ID to do this. Find more information on lifeindenmark.dk Remember that once you are admitted to Alba University, 
all communication you receive from the university must go through your AAU mail, as it is a secure mail. We hope that your studies at Alba University will be rewarding. All the information in this film is available on www.newstudents.aau.dk.